Hey everyone, welcome to another Friday Night Booster Box opening today. Rivals of Ixalan. So I recently opened up the Ixalan box, so I think it's fitting to follow that up with Rivals of Ixalan. I have about 20 or so <laughs> sealed products to open, not including the sealed products that are coming out this year. So as I go through all of them, I figured I might as well cluster all the sets together, you know? So we did Ixalan, now we're gonna do Rivals. Let's open this up. Take all the packs out. Make sure that I turned on my microphone and I'm not being silly. Nope, looks like it's open. All right, well, these packs are pretty darn cool. They look pretty cool. All right, maybe that means there's actual gold inside. Wouldn't that be a treat? No magic cards, just gold. You can thank Wizards Quality Control. Their finance department messed up with the card printing department. Which also got gold plated. Okay, that's no, a bad joke. I'll stop. I will stop. Okay, our first foil. Gotta respect the foils there. Always respect the foils on this channel. Doesn't matter what rarity it is. If you are new to this channel, just a heads up. All the rares and mythics I open up on all of these sealed products, I give away. All the non-bulk rares and mythics essentially means two, three dollars plus. I give away in frequent giveaways. I think to date I've given away $4,400 worth of rares and mythics. All of that is on this channel and on my Twitter feed. All the history is there, all the proof if you think I'm lying, but just ask any one of my viewers. Part of my channel is known for its giveaways. Another foil comment here, that's pretty cool. I do deck techs, I do sealed product openings, I do foiled mail days, I do a bunch of different things. And giveaways is one of them. I just enjoy opening up boxes and uh, giving away literally all the value to people I don't know yet. But you know what? Okay, I'm getting this in the wrong order. Yes. But you know what? It brings me joy. And when people win and I see their reaction, I just love seeing that. I'm happy to bring joy to a fellow Magic player. We all love the same thing at the end of the day, guys and girls. Although technically, YouTube still tells me that 0% of my viewers are girls, which I know is literally not true. But, whatever. This doesn't really matter what gender you are, but still. Just weird analytics. But yeah, we all have the same passion. Magic the Gathering. So, I think it's cool. I enjoy doing the giveaways. Fall, uh, by the way, I guess the most important part about the giveaways is you need to be subscribed to me on YouTube. You have to be. And you need to be following me on Twitter to be eligible. That's it. You can live anywhere in the world. I ship anywhere. I pay for the shipping. Um, I pay for sh track shipping as well, so you know when you're going to get it. And yeah, that's it. So you got to be a bit active in the sense that you got to just keep up because every time I do a giveaway, there's an announcement video, and that's kind of important because it usually is followed by a tweet. And I pick all my winners from the tweets, uh, the, the retweets and the likes. So you gotta retweet and like to be, you know, part of the pool, the pool for the giveaway. And I do that because I don't want, you know, as my, as my channel grows, obviously some percentage of subscribers are gonna be not keeping up. And I feel, to be fair to the subscribers that are keeping up, you know, they should be the ones who, who are eligible to really win, not just some random subscriber who subscribed a year ago, didn't pay attention to any of my videos and then just won. So I figure, you know, you gotta, you gotta be subscribed, you gotta be following, but the winners are picked from the retweets, so, and the likes. I think that's fair. I don't think anyone would be mad with that. I mean, still giving away free cards. <laughs> uh, and yeah, almost always at $200 in value or more, you know, just to make it really cool. I think this year, if my math is right, I'm probably, I, mean, I gave away $4,000 last year. This year I'm opening up way more products, so I'm assuming it's gonna double, <laughs> at least double uh, how much I gave last year. We'll see. It really all depends on how much value I open from the boxes, obviously. At the end of the day, if I just get bad luck, well, it's not gonna double. But I just think, mathematically speaking, and I didn't, you know, if I opened up half the amount I'm opening up, this year, last year, then technically the value should be double. So we'll see. Maybe some crazy milestone at some point, you know? 
Delver Brews. Biggest, dumbest magic player in the world. Gives away $10,000 in rares and mythics. It's gonna be... Just mark, mark my words. It's gonna be... hit it when cards are in the wrong order. It's gonna be a thing. Someone's gonna write that tweet or that article one day. Delver Brews. Why did he do it? Why did he do it? Uh, I've seen this like a thousand times at the beginning. It's always interesting. All right, Blood Sun. Okay, well. All lands lose all abilities except mana abilities. Well, it ain't no Blood Moon. It ain't no Blood Moon, but they tried. So A for effort. I guess in standard, that's pretty darn relevant. Or at least it was. Path to discovery. Cool. Still haven't figured out what I'm going to do if I pull out a winner and they've already won before. I think with the amount of people and, you know, it's probably, the odds are so low that that would happen. I don't know, I think I'd probably message the winner and say, hey, you've already won before. Do you want to give up $200? Another $200 and have someone else, give someone else a chance to win? I don't know, we'll see. I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. Hopefully I don't get there. I mean, I'm, I'm going to honor them at the end of the day, no matter what. That's just being fair. They were, they were picked out, but ideally, it's always a new winner. Cool. Mythic, I think. Pretty darn cool art. Brutal. Yep, he's just eating that guy. It's working. I like how the dinosaurs are not, not all the art was like your typical dinosaur art, which is actually not accurate. <laughs> like the dinosaurs I grew up with, the way they looked. Seems like it wasn't they weren't actually accurate. It's not what dinosaurs would look like. They actually had more feathers and they weren't all, you know, reptile like technically. So I think I like that fact that these dinosaurs had more feathers on them. They were slightly more realistic. And if you did not know that, well, now you know. Just crushed all your childhood memories of Jurassic Park, where all the dinosaurs looked exactly like what they didn't look like in, re in real life. So, sorry about that. But you know what? If I'm going to suffer through that, so will you. All right, another dino, another feather dino. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool foiling for a common. I like that. Always a sucker for selective foiling. And it's green. Green foiling is pretty cool. After blue foiling, well, purple foiling is, you know, tier zero. But after blue foiling, I think green is my next favorite foiling color. Okay, not in the right order again. Profane Procession. Oh wait, this is a flip, right? Tomb of the Dusk Rose. That's pretty cool. That looks pretty cool in foil, I'm sure. Okay, this pack completely disintegrated on me. One second. All right, just the plastic just destroyed itself while I was opening it. That was interesting. Temple Allosaur or Altasaur, I should say. Low negate, by the way, this, this, I like the old negate art, but I really like this negate art too, in particular in foil. Um, it just looks fantastic. 
when red and blue mix together in foil, it makes such a beautiful effect almost always. Those are a lot of pirates. Oh, for some reason my camera is saying it's overheating, so I gotta hurry up here or else it's gonna turn off and that's gonna be annoying. I don't like cutting my videos. All right, all right, all right. Let's speed through this, although I'm pretty sure it's gonna force me to cut. The Immortal Sun, it's pretty cool. Nice mythic. It's just flashing in my face now. Getting me nervous. It's not really. Just means I'm gonna have to sit down and stare at my screen for 10 minutes while the camera cools down so I can continue. This doesn't always happen, but that's what I get for shooting in 4K, I guess. You know what's funny? I don't even have a 4K screen. I always never, I didn't really see the point in it. And yet, I'm running 4K video. Well, we got a foil rare. That's pretty darn cool. Sorry, camera, I'm gonna have to pause here. Just take a look at that foiling. That's pretty damn sick. Very nice. Of course, it was all in the wrong order. So we've got a regular rare here as well. Whoa, that's pretty friggin' cool. Damn. Yes, yes, yes. It's gonna turn off any second. Let's see if it turns off mid-pack. Captain's hook, well, <laughs> they had to do it. There had to be a captain's hook. Cool. Down to our last column. Last third of the box. I like my opening so far. I'm not even really paying attention to the value. I'm sure the value will be somewhere here. That's pretty darn cool. Reminds me of a mount on World of Warcraft. Yes, that's another game I play, World of Warcraft. That's an okay foil. Nothing crazy there. Anyone else here play World of Warcraft or played World of Warcraft? It's not like I have a lot of time for it between jobs and family, but... And this. <laughs> not... Can't forget my channel. But, uh, yeah. I mean, at this point I've been playing it for so long that... It's one of those things where you can't stop really anymore because you've devoted so much time into it that it it would feel like that wasted time would be even a bigger waste if you just stopped so you just put more time into it um i don't know if that just makes sense all right my camera finally died out on me i was just talking too much let's just get this out of the way there's our rare i forgot what i was talking about i was just staring at my screen for the past 15 minutes <laughs> it doesn't always happen but when it happens it's annoying. Okay. There we go. We're down to about four packs. Next rare, release to the wind. It's pretty cool art. That's pretty cool too. We're down to three packs. Here we go. Pack one of three. So what do you think about the box? I think it was pretty cool. It was nice seeing all these old cards. And by old, I mean not that old. Okay, we got a mythic here. Twilight Prophet. And we got a foil uncommon. Wow, that's pretty cool. That is nice art. Decent foiling. Oh, 
very nice. Very nice rare. Tally, Primal Storm. Boss of a dinosaur. Very, very cool. Very cool. Got a foil common here. Dusk Charger. Damn. Uh, it looks like a not normal horse. Not normal horse. Last pack of this box. Thanks for sticking around through all the overheating. Of course, not in the right order. Can't stand that. All right, we saw this already. Pretty cool. If you want a chance to win any of these rares and mythics or rares and mythics that open up in the other sealed products or any future giveaways, make sure you subscribe to this channel and follow me on Twitter. Very important. And of course, you need to stay tuned for those giveaway announcements because those tell you what to do. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content in general, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. All that stuff helps me out a lot, helps you out in keeping up with all my new content and giveaways, of course. If you want to join my ever-growing Patreon community, check out the link in the description of this video. Check out the tiers. Essentially, I do giveaways for the public, but I also do giveaways for my patrons, and my patrons always win the giveaways. So it's just a giveaway for all the patrons. They all get some of their money back. Every, at the end of every year, and the longer your patron, the more you get. So check that out. All the information is on Patreon. Thanks, and have a good one.